hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another comparison video today we are taking a look at uh, optiscalers frame gen versus dlss nebular frame gen so i'm gonna be testing it on the first weather car khazan uh, now before just showing the comparison blindly there are few things which i want to talk about uh, which is like this is the demo of the game like if you go to steam right now and type khazan you will see that this demo is right now free to play like free to download and try you can give it a go it's a good game like uh, it got uh, art style some similar to marvel rivals i think like character outlines etc good graphics and it's also very small in size around 12 gigabytes or so uh, so yeah with that out of the way I will be using the OptiScaler 0.77 PVU4. Now this OptiScaler has FSR 3.1.3 inbuilt, but I'm using the DLSS enabler trunk version, which will activate the in-game DLSS FG. But this DLSS enabler does not have FSR 3.1.3 inbuilt. So in order to gain that, we will use this 3.1.3 zip. So I will show you both way and then I'll show you the comparison between each of this. So yeah, let's start this video without any delay now. All right, so first I will show you the OptiScaler, then the DLSS enabler. For the OptiScaler, we need to extract the zip here. Then we go to the installation directory. So it's in the Steam app, then common then first berserker after that bbq binary win64 now we wanna open the optiscalers folder and we wanna paste everything into the installation folder like this then we will replace which are asked after that uh, we will double click on the optiscaler setup.bat now it will bring up the cmd menu press 1 for dxgi.dll so press 1 and press enter after that select your gpu amd intel or nvidia so one is for amd intel two for nvidia i'm going to select two because i have nvidia gpu press enter and it will complete the installation after that uh, you need to go inside dls overwrite then double click on enable signature yes and okay now this is the optiscalers what do you say installation complete now i'm going to remove it and install the dlss enabler and show you how to do that also all right the optiscaler has now removed now i'm going to install the dlss enabler so we're gonna run the dlss enabler trunk then we accept next next then we select this whole path where this win64shipping.exe is located so in order to do that we click on this file browser path then whole path is selected then right click copy we delete the whole path in the dlss enabler paste it then we click next now in here we select the version.dll and we select the 0.6 because we're gonna be installing the or using the in-game dlss fg so select that now if you have intel or amd gpu you will need to select this option also uh, but uh, if you have uh, nvidia gpu you just need to select uh, 0.6 and uh, then install the reg files also now installing reg file is mandatory for all kind of gpu so it says optional but if you don't run this for the first time you will not be able to use the dlss fg in game so select this then click next install after that uh, run the disable signature override click on yes click on okay remember disable signature override is for dlss enabler and enable signature override like uh, which is in the optis folder enable signature override is for optis killer so with that out of the way uh, now install the fsr 3.1.3 because this dlss enabler only comes with fsr 3.1 so you want to extract this 3.1.3 to the desktop then go inside this folder copy these two dll and paste it in the same folder where we installed the dlss enabler and replace it all right so every step has been done now i will show you just the comparison between these two mods and uh, yeah 
i hope it will help you if this helps you consider subscribing to the channel uh, join discord for cheap games and more things and i'll see you guys in the next one so cheers now